today is a Thursday. And you guys have already seen today's workout. I'm doing upper body, I'm doing pull, so biceps and back. You guys have seen this workout because um, I am doing a plan that I created. Today is my last week doing this doing this routine and then I start I've been doing it for three weeks and then next week I start a new um routine so I'm excited about that so yeah you guys have already seen this workout so I'm not going to get too much in detail as to what the workout is I'll just kind of show some clips of that but um yeah my routine is literally the same every single day like Monday through Friday, I do the same exact thing every morning. So I was like, I need to show you guys like exactly what I do every single morning. Now, I don't always get up at 5.30. Lately, it's been like 6 o'clock because my alarm goes off at 5.30 and my boyfriend's alarm goes off at 6. And that's because I like to get up before him so I can do everything by myself and then also have time to do my devotional and my affirmations. So, um, that's why I try to get up before him, but this week has just been weird because we're coming back from a trip, so still kind of like getting over that. But yeah, so I like to get up at 5.30 to do everything, and then we try to leave here around like 6.15, 6.20, and then we have a whole like ritual we just started with stopping at Dunkin' Donuts to get coffee. Um, and then we sit in a car for like 10, 15 minutes. We never used to do that, but we've been doing it for the past like couple weeks and I actually love it. Um, so yeah, that is um, part of my pre-workout routine. I don't take pre-workout ever. I used to drink like the Celsius energy drinks, but I stopped doing that because it says zero sugar, I think, but there is sugar in it. There's sucralose in it, that's sugar. Um, but I don't really think pre-workouts are needed. I think that's just something that has been marketed and advertised as something that we need, but we don't need pre-workout. Um, back in the day, they didn't have pre-workout to go to the gym. So I try to look at things like from the root, like we didn't, like back in the day, they didn't need a lot of the things that we have. And it's not to say that they don't enhance our lives, but I think that some things are just so unnecessary and i think pre-workout is one of those things but i like to drink coffee before because i don't know it just makes my morning like so much better for some reason so we stop and get coffee pretty much every morning and then yeah so we're just gonna get right back into this video
So today for breakfast, I'm having a um, egg sandwich. I've really been in love with like fried eggs like in a sandwich. But I don't have any avocado, so I can't make me any guac. Um, and I also don't think I have any more jelly, strawberry jelly. So I'm going to eat a piece of bacon with it. I usually do not eat any type of bacon or sausage for breakfast, but looks like I'm going to be eating a dry sandwich. I don't even have any peanut butter. I need to go to the grocery store. Um, but yeah, the bacon will help add some spaz, some, some more flavor to the sandwich. So um, yeah, comment below with what y'all be putting on y'all breakfast sandwiches some people put like mayo and stuff i'm not mm -mm. i want my sandwich to be sweet and savory like with the egg like i like to have strawberry jam or um or i use like only avocado like mashed avocado so basically like guacamole but yeah so that's my breakfast um when I refresh my curls, I only do like the front. I don't pay attention to the back that much. Maybe the top, like, cause it's a little frizzy, but otherwise I'm mainly just focused on the front. Um, just because I don't have time to sit here and like refresh all my curls. But um, yesterday at work, I had some Cheez-Its. My coworker had some Cheez-Its, so I ate some Cheez-Its. And then last night we had um, Chipotle for dinner. So today I'm going to make sure that, you know, I stick to my eating plan. So for lunch, I have some rotisserie chicken and broccoli. So I'm going to eat that with some fruit for my lunch. And then dinner, I'm having ground turkey wraps. They are amazing. Basically, I like make like taco meat. So I season it with like chili powder cumin black pepper um and a little bit of like taco seasoning like already like mixed together that you can buy in the packs at the store um that i season it with that and then i um so basically like i put it in a tortilla and i'm using whole wheat tortillas right now and then i put some um taco sauce and a little shredded cheese then I wrap it up and then I put it on the stove basically to like close it and like um, melt, melt the cheese. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Like, so I also eat that with fruit. Um, so yeah, that's my dinner tonight. And then my snacks are yogurt and an apple. Those are my two snacks for the day. Um, but yeah, I pretty much do the same thing every single day. Like. Get ready for the gym, go to the gym, get ready for work, go to work, come home, work on any like content or um, business things. Well, today I have to train, so I'm training right after work. And then after that, I come home and kind of like I eat my dinner first because I try to eat by 7 p.m. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this because I should just do a video on like my evening routine. So I may do that, but yeah, I, I like to keep my routine the same. Um, I don't like to switch up too much because it just causes chaos. But um, I am actually excited for the fall this year. I'm usually never excited for like winter or the cold, but I'm very excited for this year. And I think I'm going to like get into like fall, like festivities and you know just giving in to the whole like fall aesthetic because i'm like really excited for the fall but yeah now i'm about to eat my boyfriend is making my breakfast today and so i'm gonna eat well i'm gonna pack my lunch then eat and then i am off to work but it's so important to have a routine like you need a set like schedule for yourself um daily habits your life is a product of your daily habits 
So you need to put at least like two or three two or three things in your daily routine that's working towards your goals. So for me, I do my morning affirmations and write my goals every single day because I want to be successful. Like I have so many things that I want to do. Um, so I make sure every day I look at my goals, I write my goals, and it's just like three big goals, right? Because I think very big. So I write my three biggest goals and I write those down every single day. Then I also write affirmations because one thing I want to like I'm working on is negative self-talk and just like having a lacking mindset. So I'm making sure that I say my affirmations every day. And then so that's one like habit that's going to show up in my everyday life. And then um, I go to the gym every day because I want to be fit. I want to be healthy. And um, yeah, I love to train. So I do that every day. And then um money like I need money to take care of myself and to invest and to save and to just take care of emergencies when they happen so I go to work every day like some people don't see that as like a habit or a part of their routine but it is a part of your routine and you should want it to be something that you look forward to like obviously I don't want to be at my job forever but I look forward to going to work every day because I know that I'm going to better myself if I wasn't working I would just be you know chilling at home or doing things that I shouldn't be doing so going to work is a privilege it's something that I actually look forward to every day um, I've changed my mind to look forward to it every day so yeah you need a routine for yourself it doesn't have to be anything crazy it doesn't have to be you know what you see somebody else doing but find a couple things that you know you need to do every day even if it's just five minutes three minutes whatever to set yourself up for the life that you want so that's pretty much why I keep the same routine because you have to build those habits and you have to be consistent, especially if you want to see the return. Another thing you guys might notice is that I eat the same things every day and that is because I prefer to keep my nutrition simple to the point where I know that I'm getting in my nutrients, I know that I'm getting in protein, my micronutrients, my vitamins, my minerals, my healthy fats, my carbs, like I like to keep things simple and to the point. I'm not an over complicated person but also like nutrition is kind of complicated especially when you're trying to understand like how much of whatever you should be eating I don't track when it comes to like counting calories or counting like my grams or anything like that but I do pay attention to what I'm putting into my body so yes I eat the same things pretty much every day I just switch it up some days I'll eat boiled eggs sometimes scrambled sometimes fried egg sometimes baked chicken sometimes air fried chicken seared chicken like there's so many ways that you can cook things and so I just like to find new ways to cook something rather than trying to be overly creative with food sometimes I'll be a little creative and try new recipes but that's not really too often so I did want to mention that but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog this is pretty much what I do every single day before I go to the gym at the gym and after the gym if you guys want to see more videos like this comment on this video and I will see you guys in the next one